this is IBM Museum. Now that I've gone through and done the troubleshooting steps to make sure that that MOL80 Type 2 planer is working perfectly fine, I'm going to use it to get a couple adapter IDs. And it's interesting, I did a, a video just under a year ago that I had a, actually in that case, a Type 1 MOL80 planer laid out on the bench. Uh, but I've kind of the ironic thing is I've had to revert to my headset microphone. I've, uh, the regular USB mic that I normally have for my lapel, it's just been drug around too much. I'm getting um, clicks and other noises from it. So I've kind of reverted to this set. And the video that I did uh, just under a year ago, it, it's kind of interesting. This is just a, a screen capture of a portion of it. And the, it's funny at that time, I mean, I, I had the, um, the headset microphone on just like I do now, and also have that parallel port postcode reader connected to the back. And of course my video captured methods have changed a little bit. I'm not necessarily doing the Skycam uh, this time around. Uh, I just thought it was really kind of interesting. And for what it's worth, that that video has um, all of uh, 51 views. And I think that's probably because uh, some of those views are even from me going through. Um, but hopefully with this, with the subscriber base I have now within a 24-hour period, typically huh, this video should get about 50 views. Um, but I'm going to go through and and... The adapters uh, that I'm interested in, in checking here, I've got one that is a um, multi-serial adapter, and I've not been really familiar or seen this um, with the page of its own. It uh, has four ports um, using the RJ45 connection on the main adapter and then this side um bracket that's got another four ports. But I just wanted to plug this in and get an adapter ID and see if I can get a little bit further with uh, figuring that out. And then the other one is that so-called twin axial connection that's um, the adapter that is in um, a 5494 and goes through to where you have some hydras coming out for connecting the twin X um, workstations and a and a link um, serial communications link that you can go through to connect back to an AS four hundred. But I want to see what the adapter idea is. This is we also need to get pictures and get a, a diagram up. We've got a diagram of the planer, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to plug that into slot seven here just to give the adapters a little bit of separation um, on the board. Um, and then we're going to go through, I'll uh, switch over to the to the VGA output of this and we'll get it turned on to go through. And um, I have my tweener system, it does have the video output of the um, the program that we're going to type in. Uh, I could have this on diskette in, in even Quick Basic or something else to to run, but I just want to show with the 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 planer laid out on the on the bench here. I don't even have to have a, a working diskette drive or anything else, a uh, hard drive connected to the system to kind of run through from the ROM basic. Um, and get um, uh, details on these adapters. So I'm going to press F1 on the keyboard. It's beeped S and gave a 165 error in this case. And so I'm not going to go through and um, uh, take people, make people wait through all my uh, typing and everything else. I'll go through and pause the video once I have the program typed in. I will be back on the screen. Okay, and here's the program typed in. Now for, um, I've even got um, 
a listing. Let me see that I can work with uh, my input sources. Let's turn that off for a moment. Let's go through and do my text on. This is what I'm, I'm typing in. And the first command I'm doing is a screen one that just puts the output in 40 column mode, makes it a lot easier to see and going through and working my way through the adapters. So the, let's get back to where we have that on the screen and we're gonna do an F2 to go through and run the program. And we can see for the uh, slot three, and that's where we have that multi-serial adapter. That's giving us the uh, adapter ID of 6423. And I'll have to go through and look through the ADF list to see um, if that has a possible ADF. And it, it may be even be um, something to, uh, if it doesn't have an ADF, uh, I wonder how uh, hard it will be to go through and maybe um, generate an, uh, an ADF. And, that, and that's easy enough to, um, to confirm a lot of time by looking at how those uh, serial ports would be set up, the IO address and things like that. So we'll have to look at that a little bit more. And um, the in the slot seven, and that's that twin axle uh, connection adapter that's normally in the 5494, um, that gives the adapter ID of 8FF6. And the 5494 even has a couple diskettes that... Uh, is used to configure the unit. I doubt if that has a, a conventional ADF um, that exists for that on those diskettes. Might be worth checking. I do have the diskettes for the 5494, uh, but that also may be in ROM and there may be um, just some other things. I just wanted to, to kind of pin down what the adapter ID is and go through and photograph and get a diagram for that so uh, that can be documented a little bit more. So this does give us uh, some good output um, kind of that I was able to quickly set up and uh, to get that information. And I'll continue on further. Uh, eventually I'm gonna go through of course and, and package up this uh, planer. I've notified the seller that it is working correctly and we will get hit it back to him um, for maybe somebody else in need that um, has to use one of these uh, planers or needs to, to change out a, a planer in their Model 80, um, that now we've confirmed that that works uh, properly. So if you enjoyed this video, click on that like button, please. And as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so and recommend this to your friends that are interested in, the, in this sort of content so they can subscribe too. That would be wonderful. But that's all I have for now. This is IBM Museum. Thank you.